we're in South Florida, not far from the Alligators in the Everglades, home of the Panthers. Hi everyone with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro coming along in just a moment. I'm Mike Emmerich. A lot of people have clicked through the turnstiles tonight and they've had in mind one player. He's the guy on whom all eyes will be. What's it like to be him? Well, you want that pressure. You want to be the guy. When the game is on the line, you want to be the guy that has the puck on your stick. And that's why people pay a lot of money to come watch this particular player play. Because when he's at his best, his team goes to another level. Zucker has shown throughout his career pretty much at every level of hockey that he loves the extra attention and responsibilities that come from being one of the stars for his team. It's not easy being the guy every night, but he seems to enjoy it when all the eyes are on him. We direct our attention to the Nets and the starting goalies. Roberto Luongo, winner of several NHL honors, backstopped his team to a Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Final. A draft choice of the New York Islanders over 20 years ago. Devin Dubnik, his first ever victory as a wild goalie was a 7-0 shutout. And that was the first of 38 straight he played. He won 27. What a start. And the opening faceoff is here. Parkoff's the starting center for Florida. Eric Stahl's opposite him for the Wild. In Florida tonight, it's hockey, and it started. Play halted down to the ice and right. If they're going to make a bigger imprint in their market, they need to have year-over-year -year success. And I think the Panthers have players that can do that. Many thanks, Ray. Minnesota's got that puck off the tie-up. Gives it to the point. Propelled to Spurgeon. And moved down to Eric Stahl. Carries it to the corner. Wonderful chance was set up and the pass just goes wide. A shot. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Minnesota's getting to the neutral zone. decides to just cover it up and get the whistle. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. Just over three minutes have passed. Both teams are still looking for their first strike. Solid win of the draw. Gives it over to the point. The Panthers in their own end controlling play now. Skates it into the zone. Takes a shot. Oh, what a save. Hangs on to that one for a stoppage in play. Roberto Luongo, a native of Montreal, has played on the Atlantic for Florida and the Pacific for Vancouver, and that was where he won a gold medal in 2010. Any goaltender that can win 350 plus games in a National Hockey League, you got to tip your helmet to him, Doc. And oh, yeah, he did win a gold medal for Canada back in 2010 at the Olympics. Laid on to Fiala. Brings it in for an attack. Flings it. A strong pad stop there. Holds in the corner. Up the left side to Trocek. Hammers one. Outstanding offense met by solid goaltending. You can't deliver the puck much better than that, but the goalie says no chance. That's an excellent save. Nice faceoff work. Tries to get it outside. Stays in the zone. On to Hoffman. Beside the line. Oh, what a hit that one was. Felino's play is so energetic early. He wants to get a hit in so his team knows that they're all ready to go. 
Gets it in a good place. Great stick work prevents the pass from being complete. Shakes right through. Slid to Felino. The Panthers in their own end lug that puck along. Gathered up again by Brodine. Steps in from the neutral zone. Goes to the backhand. Terrific opportunity, but it's off the mark. Terrific determination by Huberdeau. Hammered. He missed the net. Oh, you miss an opportunity like that. You better not be in a hurry to get back to that bench. Lifted up the middle to Kunin. And offside is caught. Felino's skating ability gets him into position here to deliver a crushing hit. Neutral zone face off one. Possession established here. Stole that pass away in his own end. Leads that charge into the zone. Rister, lightning-like reflexes there. Great glove save. Won that face off. Now what? He's got it. Minnesota's setting up an offense from the wing. He's got that point pass. Taken behind by Ryan Suter. Wonderful block. Florida's in their own end and shifting gears. Carries it on in from center. Using the point. Shoots. Wonderful save. He was hovering right over it. Equal to the challenge. Nice stop. And still another save. What a show. No. How to get it on net from there. You find yourself in the slot with the puck on. off the iron. Swatted down. Minnesota's controlling play through the neutral zone. Shot grabbed. To Trocek. Pitching it to Morgan. Nicely received at the point. Shoots. Terrific grab with the glove. Shot. Outstanding save. What magic even to get there and get the shot off. Tough to stomach from a shooter's perspective. That was a perfect shot. The goaltender can't get to it, but you get nothing for it. The Panthers win it. Heads to the crease. Routine save. Freezes play. Solid clean win. Minnesota's got it through center ice. It's dumped in. Nearing the last minute of play in the first. Takes that pass from the other point. Got his glove on that one. Last minute of play in the first period. From the slot of Rister. And a save. Smart recovery by Brown. And he dumps it in. Ekblad's got to shovel it out of there. Couldn't get it out. A one-timer. Score! Not much time left, but enough for that one. Well, they jumped up on the bench beside me pretty quickly here. Very excited on the one side to have the game's first goal.
Minnesota's ahead by one goal here in the first period. A lot of time still left to play, but getting one and breaking the tie was huge. Wild goal scored by number 23, JT. Quick wrist shot. By number 49, Victor Rask. First period has been played. An interesting start to all of this. Continuation in just a moment. Only one goal scored and two periods yet to go. The good old days of hockey are back. Brown's goal was pretty good, but is it the difference maker? It is for right now. We had to break. Before their history again. Twenty minutes in the books. Twenty minutes ahead. Edzo, what did you think of the first? The Panthers are down only by one, Doc, and they're lucky. The way they turned over the puck in that first period, this could easily be a three or four goal deficit. And period two is underway. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Quick wrister. Save. Minnesota's carrying on in the defensive zone. On the outside, a shot. That puck was obstructed by a screen. Puck heads to the neutral zone. The attackers, of course, follow. It's dumped in. Florida's controlling the play in their own end. Can start the attack going in the zone. Chip to Bertrano. That puck struck him in front. And this is Aaron Ekblad, broke in at 18. Propelled to Yandel. Snaps one. Great stick save. Around through the corner right now. Laid on to Trocek. Collect it now. Minnesota's along the wing at center ice. Sends to the point. Let's it go. High with the shot. You want to score goals, you got to get to the front of the net, and that's exactly what happened. But unfortunately, just shot the puck over the net. Dubnik's had far more dangerous shots than this to deal with. He deflects that aside pretty easily. Just over six minutes have been skated here in the second. It's a 1-0 game. Nice face-off win. A long scorcher. Save. You got to battle through a screenplay. Through center. That one is pointed to him. A shot. Waffle boarded. On to Matheson. Save. Minnesota's in control of the puck up the wing. And it's a good pickup. Driving in from no man's land. He throws it there. Punched away. Shoots. Took care of that one. And yet another save. How does he do that? Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. Clean win on the draw. Moved up the wing to Felino. Slid to Kunin. Swept aside. That move not too slick there. And ring more bells on that one. One after another. Luongo's going to be able to make that save all day. His positioning is perfect. It's not a difficult scoring chance. Panthers with a clean win on the draw. Florida skating from the neutral zone. Handled in the corner by Hoffman. 
Makes the stop and holds for the whistle. Dubnik's seen a lot of rubber tonight. His team defensively hasn't helped him out very much, but he's turned aside almost everything, and as a result, they have the lead. Fires a shot. Wonderful stop. Sends it. Save. Pat save. And he holds on, and the whistle stops play. You can't deliver the puck much better than that, but the goalie says no chance. That's an excellent save. The Panthers win it. Fires. Score. And this one is. I guess at this point, guys, it doesn't really matter what the game looks like. It's back to even square, and we'll find out who's going to take the lead next. They've won the faceoff. Scored by number three, Keith Yandel. Takes that pass up the boards. Of the goal. Carries it to the corner. Minutes, 27 seconds. Let's it go. At least he protected his goaltender. The Panthers have the puck at center ice. Many yards gained to Barkov. Shoots one. That puck's still alive, but a great glove save. Ah, oh, that's a good quick poke check there. Slides it to the point. Chip to Huberdo. Ranks the shot. He hit the crossbar. Picked up by the defense. I'd say this game is played out pretty much according to plan. Both teams have been really focused on the defensive side of the puck. There's not much room. It has been pretty physical, and when there are chances, the goalies have been sharp. Shot on goal. Wonderful save. What skill by both goalie and shooter. Now that's a timely save, a beautiful one. Outstanding job done at the blue line to hold the pressure on. Gave him a good shot, but a great pad answer there. Back to the blue line. Sends it back the other way, and he gets it back. Looking for options, hammers one. Play stopped. That puck is just held. Minnesota's fans got back on their feet after watching the replay of that massive save on the big board. I don't think we're going to see a bigger save than that the rest of the night. Good job on the draw. Minnesota's winging it at neutral ice. A great wrist shot. Wonderful chance to score, but no. One minute left. Into the last minute of the second period. Gains the blue line. And angled to Pizik. Just missed! He's in the slot, the puck's on his stick, and he just misses. Tough break on that play. Oh, what a save. He brought his best shot, and it got stopped. Two periods are in the books here. And the books could very well have some perspiration stains on it by now because these teams have worked pretty hard. But still, a third period is ahead. As is our custom, we look now at the shots on goal. Wow, does anybody play defense here? 27 for the Panthers and 12 for Minnesota. Please don't throw any objects on or towards the plane surface at any time. Florida has collected the game tying goal, and that will mean an awful lot to them when they head out to the ice for the start of the next period. We'll return after these words. A 
underway. Third period tie game. Looking to Eric Stahl. Got that pass in his own end. Rounded it again. Head shot turn. Save there. Minnesota's lugging it along in the defensive zone. And he steps in. Reads the play and keeps it. Florida's back in its own end, trying to work forward. Good place to shoot. Hits the post. Collected by Yandel. Broke it right up. Minnesota's gliding along through the neutral zone. Propelled to Suter. He wore that puck on a hard shot. Steps across that line. Wrist shot. What a shot, and he got his glove on it. Gathered up again by Spurgeon. Minnesota's got possession in the middle of the ice. Shoots one. Great save. Goalie's one of the six guys on the ice. He can pass. He did that. Rister paddled aside. Solid work there by Spurgeon. And holds on to that puck to get the whistle. Maybe he's shooting to pump up his Corsi number because that has no chance of going in the net. A little under six minutes off the clock in the third. Only a pair of goals so far equally divided. Trocek's pickpocketed again, trying to go to Eriksson Ek. Goes back deep for it. The Panthers are skating it up at neutral ice. Dances, sticked away. Gathered up by Parisi. And he steps across the line. Outstanding move. Holds on and gets that whistle. Well, it looks like the shooter's just trying to get this puck on net. Routine stop for the goaltender. Not much challenge. Critical win of the draw. Looks from the corner. Just a backhand. And a save. Face-off win here. Swept on to Pattern. A shot. Back on his stick. Pass. He saved it. Strong save. You got to think that's a game changing save there. Intercepts that pass. Maybe he can generate something. Attack zone possession here. Let's it go. Saved off the mask. And on top of that, another great stop. Bonk right off the coconut. That one's got a sting. Defensive zone win. The Panthers leave their own end. Gathered up again by Brown. Shot. Terrific save there. Didn't look like he had anything to shoot at, and he made it tough. That was a tougher stop than a look. Florida's got another win.
tricked in the slot. That was a great play and goal. It's almost like these teams are mirror images of each other. There's no room on the ice. Nobody has been able to spread out the play and generate a whole ton of scoring chances. That shooter might want to check his stick. If that's all that he's got in the arsenal, it's not going to score very often. Florida's won that faceoff in the neutral zone. Let's it go. Hung right over him and couldn't get it passed. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. Laid on to Huberdeau. Blocked. Minnesota's carrying on up the wing. Kane's that offensive line. Let's go, Arister. Got his pad on that one. Puck covered, whistle blown. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. They win the draw. Let's see if it pays off. Take it out along the boards. That was a major league collision. Save. Goaltender pass. Brought ahead. The Panthers skated up on the side. Shoots one. Wonderful stop. Well, that even sounded hard the way that he shot the puck, but the goalie makes the stop on that effort. A little under three minutes to be played. Two goals so far, divided in half. You can't pick a better time to win a draw. Big drive. Got that. Tremendous scoring chance. Pretty easy save for the goaltender as he just handles that. He handles about 100 of those in practice a day. time to win that one using the point he's got it shot he missed the net tied score great a scoring chance nothing to show for it minnesota's organizing back in the defensive zone nearing the final minute of regulation terrific fake out block that one and another save there gains the zone Shoots, stick to side. Some contact there, and the puck is loose. On to Trocek. Gets it with the blocker. Puck collected. To the last 34. With a blast. Missed with the shot. He could start some danger here. In that defensive zone, an important play. Perfect passing right through center. Save! Minnesota's in control of the puck through center. Fires, and a save there. A tremendous back and forth through three periods. Perhaps a decision will come in sudden death overtime. Do you want the assurance of knowing you have a ticket to all the big games? This game is going to overtime because of this remarkable save. Intermission is next. For more information, or check out our website. Sudden death overtime is underway. If nobody scores, a shootout will be next. Feeds the point. 
Hammers it. Turned away with the stick. Terrific determination by Eric Stahl. Moving it to Fiala. Up to the point. Brings the shot. Just couldn't find the target. That's going to happen. There's not a lot of room there. He just missed the shot. And he's tripped, and there'll be a penalty. Hangs on to it. Right back to Stahl. Dubnik's at the bench. The extra man's on. Swept away. Collected in the corner. Snaps it to Suter. Looking for options. And he gets it back. A penalty has been called at a critical point in the game. And the power play unit comes out. The Panthers have been handed a minor penalty for tripping. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under him. It is a rare power play that is a four against three, but that's what we have right now, and it begins. They won it. Now what can they do? Just because it's your power play doesn't mean you can take a nap here. You have to work hard and continue to generate chances. He uses the stick to control where the rebound goes, so there's no second opportunity. A big win. Let's see what happens. Shoots. Score! The overtime winner, and the players spill over the boards to celebrate. And that's the end of the game. It was a great time. Minnesota's victory tonight is a sweet one. A strong surge late in overtime. Some nights are special in memory. This one was an outstanding game. So long for now.